This is Witchspace News for Friday the 26th of February 2021 ...I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news ...more Odyssey Q&A answers from Frontier ...there's paint jobs and a ship up for grabs in this weeks CG ...PlayStation Horizons issues appear to be fixed ...and there's some exciting tidbits from last nights Frontier livestream and more. If you enjoyed this video remember to hit like and subscribe and if you'd like to help support the work of this channel you'll also find us on Patreon. Links to everything you need are in the description below. Frontier today drops some more answers to your Odyssey questions in a post on the forums. This week the questions were all centered around weapons in the upcoming first person centric paid expansion so we'll run through FDev's answers now for you. To the question will anti-vehicle weapons be available the answer was all weapons can be used against ships however some are far more effective such as explosive weapons like rocket launchers and grenades. When asked whether players will be equipped with a weapon immediately upon launch Frontier replied that just as you always have a sidewinder available as a ship all players will have a sidearm to fall back on in combat. On the subject of whether there will be any melee weapons in the expansion Frontier replied that players will always be able to attack with melee when at close range but there are no specific melee weapons so we're guessing from that that we'll see punching or rifle butts used but perhaps unsurprisingly there's no space axe in Odyssey. As part of the Q&A it was quite encouraging to hear that players will have non lethal weapons available to them as well as the garden variety lethal choices. It'll be just as fascinating to see how those options play out from a victims perspective as well as from the perpetrator. Whilst Frontier have made it clear that explosive damage will have a significant impact on vehicles in the expansion to a question about what kinds of explosives are available for use they replied that only grenades and a rocket launcher are planned for launch. The use of the phrase planned for launch being I suspect carefully chosen. The obvious implication there is that what we get from Odyssey at the start is not the end of the story and perhaps like Elite's early years we're likely to see semi regular drops of new weapons and possibly new in game mechanics as the expansion ages. A question was asked about the aiming reticule and whether it was always on screen Lending weight to the idea that Odyssey is not just about first person shooting the reply states that the reticule is used to interact with objects as well as for combat so it'll always be on screen. And when you are still firing from the hip rather than sighted down the weapon it will still be used to give an indication of the general direction of fire but far less accurate. On the subject of sighting down weapons to increase accuracy Frontier stated that all weapons will have this function however different scopes are available for each through the engineering system. Adding further emphasis to the explosives versus vehicles and specifically ships idea Frontier stated that we can expect to see increased damage against ships if you can manage to land a grenade hit on an unshielded one. The question of what types of weapons we'll see in the expansion was answered with a variety of weapons from pistols, rifles and SMGs through to shotguns and rocket launchers but they will be revealing more details on these at a later date. And the question of whether players will be able to upgrade their weapons with attachment met with an interesting answer. It appears there will be several attachment types for your weapons and once modified your weapon cannot be reverted to its previous state so care will be needed when choosing these upgrades. You can however own multiple copies of a specific weapon type for use in different situations but importantly you can only carry a limited number of them at a time and that limit is tied to the suit type that you're wearing. And finally the question of whether you can drop ammo and grenades for friends to use was answered with a definitive yes. In game the first Galactic Summit started officially on Thursday and over its 3 week run time it will see delegates from the Federation, Alliance and Imperial governments meet in an effort to find some common ground and presumably work better together. 
all the while being hosted and overseen by the colossal, evil, almost universally mistrusted megacorp the Sirius Corporation. What could possibly go wrong? To accompany the event the Federation is taking first dibs at handling security and a bounty hunting CG has kicked off in the normal permit locked Sirius system. There were rewards for the CG over and above simple credits and some snazzy paint jobs being given away along with permanent Sirius system passes and even a brand new shiny federal assault ship being gifted for the top 10 commanders in the event. Next week it appears the plan at least is for the Imperials to be given the same opportunity to guard the conference. We're assuming and this is an assumption that week 3 should see the Alliance step up to guard duty if indeed it isn't all in flaming tatters by that point. It's all going to be fine I'm sure. Some commanders on the PlayStation platform have in recent times been plagued by problems accessing the horizons portion of the Elite Dangerous experience. Frontier issued a call early in the week to affected PlayStation commanders asking for more details and as a result of that call it does seem that the issue has now been resolved. If you are still experiencing problems then do let Frontier know. A link to the customer services page is in the description below. This week in celebration of Elite's arrival on Xbox Game Pass yesterday Frontiers regular Thursday livestream came from community manager Arthur Tolmy's very own Xbox and indeed living room. During the nearly 2 hour stream Arthur fielded questions from the gathered audience whilst participating in this weeks Summit CG and he did let go some small details about Odyssey. As we reported earlier this week it seems that CMs Arthur and Bruce at the very least have been filming Odyssey gameplay for a forthcoming PR asset. In the Tuesday livestream Arthur did say that the current plan was for some sort of release from Frontier in early March and when asked last night by a member of the audience for more Odyssey details Arthur did say that we really won't have to wait much longer lending further weight of expectation on that promised early March release. Arthur then continued that this coming Tuesdays livestream ...that'll be the Super Cruise news slot at 4.30pm UTC on March the 2nd ...will be important and that we won't want to miss it. So it does appear that at the very least some kind of info drop will be hitting on Tuesdays livestream. As soon as we know more we will of course post it on this very channel so make sure you're subscribed and have notifications turned on so you don't miss it when it hits. Elsewhere in the stream Arthur mentioned that for the filming they'd been doing recently he'd been using a plasma rifle and what he described as an internally silenced pistol. When describing the first person combat experience on the stream he made mention that the developers had essentially taken the space based gameplay and weapon archetypes and transposed it to the first person arena. He said the first person experience made you feel like an action movie hero but if you behaved like one you'd rapidly end up dead and continued by saying that the first person combat was definitely not a twitch based shooter and this is something that we've heard from the team before. It does seem that the first person experience is quite frankly what you'd expect from a shooter in the Elite Universe and is more cerebral and tactical in nature than other more dedicated shooters. One final nugget we picked up from the stream when questioned about the Colsac Nebula and the Adamaster incident Arthur reiterated again that everything they're doing narratively speaking is for a reason and he hinted that the player base was not yet done with the Colsac Nebula storyline and that there will be more to see there in future. And finally this week you may remember way back in mid January Frontier hosted a prize draw for 5 lucky commanders to have their names immortalised on locations in the Odyssey expansion. The lucky winners have been picked and they are apparently being announced on a forum post this very afternoon so if you entered the draw do look out for that. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs>